Natasha Rogers. Sub 15, first ever, right? Yep, 12 second PB today. How does that feel? Oh, I've been waiting for breaking 15 for a long time. Yeah. A very long time. Uh, I'm 31 and I knew that I needed to make some changes to get to the next level. Yeah. So um, I just spent a month in Kenya and been really making the sacrifice and the commitment to make things happen. Yeah. How long had Sub 15 been a goal? Um, how long? Yeah. Uh, so I knew I could break it uh, in the last like two years, I would say. But you kind of need the perfect opportunity, the perfect race. Um, and yeah, last track season I burned out after Worlds and kind of missed that opportunity. So it feels really sweet to get it. Yeah. And so you, you mentioned making some changes. You're with Puma, Puma Elite now. Yep. Um, why was that like, why'd you join them? Um, I just was hitting a glass ceiling in my career. Like I saw where I could go and I was just kind of stuck in a rut, training a lot by myself on the treadmill. And um, yeah, I just knew that there was an uh, opportunity to like see what else is out there to, to make the changes and to really commit to, to the sport. Where were you based out of before? Like, were you in Michigan with the Hansons or were you somewhere, were you um, in Colorado or where? No, so I was in Denver yeah. and then I would do training stints with the Hansons um, a few times a year. But that's what I needed for that chapter of my life and um, I'm in a new chapter now where I'm ready to train with people who like, you know, my, tr my new training partners Fiona and Sarah, they they have strengths that are my weaknesses. So to see to capitalize on that and like kind of meet in the middle in places has been really cool. Yeah, one, two, three, finish for you guys. You gotta be pretty happy with that. Yeah, yeah. We just <laughs> we spent so much time together in Kenya, and yeah. like I guess just the camaraderie has really paid off. Yeah. So tell me about that. How long were you in Kenya? Where were you based? Where were you staying? Uh, E10. So yeah. eight thousand feet high. Yeah. With the best runners in the world there's a bunch of Europeans there and everyone's just super dedicated to sport and it's just contagious that energy there how long were you there for uh a month okay yeah and are you like hammering stuff on the road so are you running with like other international athletes are you training with Kenyans or how does it work over there? we had Kenyan male pacers mm -hmm. um but we were doing our own group and uh, lots of it is dirt, hilly dirt, rocky roads. Yeah. Um, there's no, there's really not a lot of asphalt there. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Ch Kipchoge's track stadium. So we were there a lot as okay. well. What do you do in your downtime? Uh, <laughs> there's not a lot to do. Um, we didn't have Wi-Fi most of the time. Okay. Didn't bother to get like the SIM card. And it was nice. It was like, I wasn't on Instagram looking at what everyone else was doing. I wasn't overstimulated with my phone yeah. and we were reading books. We were, um, I went on my own little hikes and like explored the valley. Um, I met a lot of Kenyan people who have a different perspective on life. Yeah. Did you get into drinking tea? That big on tea? I'm a tea person now. Yes. Tea, um, chapati, uh, ugali. Ugali, yeah. Yep. yeah. But the place we were staying had like a free-for-all buffet every every meal, so yeah. that was really nice. The healthiest I've eaten in a really long time. So do you think you guys will be going back at some point then? Yeah, I think that might be our thing now because it works. I mean, you coming off of that high altitude, I I didn't really feel like breathing was an issue today. Yeah, when did you get back? Uh, Monday. So okay. the only issue I had today was my legs were a bit heavy. Um, and I was, uh, I'm still a little jet lagged. <laughs> gotcha. Well, you got the standard out of the way for Worlds now. So. I, I, was it the standard? Okay. Standard's 1457, so. Alright, well, yes. Yeah. And do you know how it's going to work for the 10K yet at, at USA's? Like, are they going to have a one off event like they did last year? Or are no. they doing. Unfortunately, no. No, I, it's at USA's. Yeah. Okay. Which is a really big disadvantage for the 10k and 5k runners yeah. um but you know we we've done it before we're gonna make it work and um yeah my focus is berlin marathon this year oh, so right. moving up and I, i'm still gonna run track mm -hmm. see how that goes and then we'll go from there okay so that will that be your debut then yeah all right have you run hawks before 
Uh, yeah, I won the U.S. Half Champs in 2017. Okay. And then I've done, I was second at another one, so I'm showing promise in that direction, but <laughs> to imagine doing two halves in a row, that's, that's crazy. Oh, that's a fast one, too. You know, you're throwing your feet yeah. to a fire there. Yeah, we're going to be conservative. We're just going to qualify for the trials and um, then try to place top three at the trials. At the trials, right. Yeah. So do you think of yourself as a marathoner now? Um, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> not there yet, yeah. but uh, I'm learning from these girls. Like, they're really good at the long stuff. So every day I'm getting better at, like, a long run, whereas before that was a weakness of mine. Um, I think I might have what it takes. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, yeah, it's going to be competitive trials. A lot of good women running fast these days in the U.S. It's almost like, is it going to be more competitive there than the track now? Like, it, Everyone's moving up, so. so tough. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, Natasha, congrats on the PB. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you.